Three-time Olympic gold medalist Shelly and Fraser Price has announced she'll re be retiring following the 2024 Paris Olympics. The third yes, it was the news that surprised everyone a few days ago, especially since... I would say she's the greatest 100-meter sprinter ever, and that's not in debate, mm. male or female. Um, and arguably, she's the greatest sprinter all time. Throughout her career, she has proven time and time again her dominance in the sport. In fact, she belongs to the Jamaican trio, the best of the best, as they say, along with Elaine thompson Hera and Sharika Jackson. And so, both fans and sports enthusiasts were surprised to learn about her pending retirement following this year's Olympic Games. But, as you all know, at this point in her career, there's nothing else she needs to prove. She could break a few more records, yes, but she's already written her name in history books numerous times. Still, fans would prefer to continue seeing her on the track, but they do understand and respect her choices for sure. Anyhow, this just makes this season more interesting. Shelly Ann would probably want to make a grand exit from the sport, so this year's races would definitely be something to watch out for. Although most of you are probably aware that last year hadn't been that great for her. Of course, that is not to say that all her races ended on a bad note. Of course not. She's Shelly Ann Fraser Price, after all. In fact, she opened her 2023 season at the Jamaican National Championships in Kingston, where she produced an impressive season opener, winning her 200-meter heat at the Jamaica Track and Field Championships. She won her heat with ease, posting a world qualifying time of 22.39 seconds. Before the World Championships in August, Shelly Ann had only raced twice, clocking 10.82 and 10.83 seconds after recovering from a knee injury. The former, the fourth fastest time this year, came at the Spitzen Lake Athletic in Lucerne, Switzerland. In an interview, Shelly Ann begrudgingly admitted, It's a new situation for me to come back from injury and start my season so late. It is because of the said injury that a few weeks before the Worlds, Fraser Price announced that she would not be competing in some of the major categories. For context, she was originally set to compete for gold on three fronts, but had since opted out of the slightly longer version of the sprints. She finished second in the 200-meter national titles to book her spot at the Worlds and qualified alongside the defending champion Sharika Jackson. However, in a tweet in early August said, Shelly Ann Fraser Price will not be doing the sprint double at this month's World Championships in Budapest. She won't be competing in the 200 meters despite her entry. SFP is attempting to win an unprecedented sixth world title in the 100 meters and will also be part of the 4x100 meter relay team. According to Jamaican sports outlet Nationwide Sports, Fraser Price has reportedly informed her country's officials that she will not be going for the sprint double. By withdrawing from the 200-meter race, it was expected that she would be channeling her energy towards securing her sixth world title in the 100-meter event. It can be noted that earlier in the year, she confirmed her plans to focus on the 100-meter in the future. Last year, I said that was it, she said, and it may possibly be it for me for real, and I'll just focus on the 100 meters. The double is very hard, it is strenuous. The workload that you need to do it is definitely hard. And so, in Budapest, Shelly Ann Fraser Price showed up at the track at the National Athletic Center and won her 100-meter heat with seeming ease, clocking 11.01. .01. Needless to say, she came into the 100-meter finals at the World Championships with every chance to make history, as she has done so many times before. She did make some history, just not the sort she was hoping for when she won her first bronze medal among the 15 she has amassed at Worlds. Unfortunately, her quest to win a sixth world title at 100 meters and tie pole vaulter Sergei Bubka's record for an individual discipline came to an abrupt end when Shakari Richardson won the race. You don't have to always know the answer, you just have to come and fight. This is what Shelly Ann Fraser Price said after her 100 meter race in Budapest. Then, in the 4x100 meter relay, Shelly Ann Fraser Price rocketed Jamaica ahead of the U.S. quartet with a storming second leg. However, it was Team USA who won the race. The consolation for Fraser Price was another silver to add to her considerable medal collections from the World Championships. On that note, Fraser Price now has 16 of them, four shy of the record tally held by Allison Felix, 10 gold, 5 silver, and 1 bronze. 
A few days later, another bit of news from her party surprised the public. Jamaica sprint legend Shelly Ann Fraser Price sustained a muscle injury at the World Athletics Championships 2023 that may force her to miss the rest of this season. Apparently, the 16-time world medalist was taken to hospital and examined after the 4x100-meter relay final, which was her last race in Budapest. The examination showed that the injury is not severe and she would progress quite fine, said Dr. Warren Blake. She is in good spirits. It was also shared that Shelly Ann has already begun treatment and is expected to recover without any complications. While fans are happy to hear about the good news, some were disappointed since they would be seeing less of her before her retirement. After all, she has been clear about how long fans can expect to see her on the track. I definitely want 2024 to be my last hurrah, she shared in an interview as early as February of last year. I've accomplished so much and I'm so, so grateful for it all. All the people that I've been able to touch, all the memories that I've made, after the Olympics I want to make different memories. That said, fans were surprised, but not too much, when news broke a few days ago that she has officially expressed her intent to retire from the sport. In an interview with Essence.com, Fraser Price said her family was the key to her decision. There's not a day I'm getting up to go practice and I'm like, I'm over this, she said. My son needs me. My husband and I have been together since before I won in 2008. He has sacrificed for me. She shared that they were a team and that her husband's never-ending support allowed her to do the things that she has been doing so far. And I think I now owe it to them to do something else, she said. And so, the 37-year-old is now focusing on her preparation for the Olympics, which she said is about pushing boundaries and showing people that you stop when you decide. She also mentioned that she wants to finish on her own terms. As part of her training regimen, Fraser Price is pacing herself after dealing with an injury, which hampered her chances for three straight world titles at last year's Worlds, as earlier mentioned. She will, however, probably try again this season, as Fraser Price will be a contender for the 100-meter title at this year's Olympics, which begins on July 26 and runs until August 11th, alongside USA's Shakari Richardson and compatriots Sharika Jackson and Elaine thompson hera Do not fret, however, as Shelly Ann will remain busy as she continues to build her legacy away from the track, on which she works equally hard, mainly helping underprivileged kids. The Pocket Rocket Foundation, which she set up in 2012, exists to enrich the lives of student athletes. As she said, You can have an impact, and it's important to show people that you can't be selfish. It's not enough that we step on a track and we win medals. You have to think about the next generation that's coming after you and give them the opportunity to also dream and dream big. So, will we see her win medals? Well, we'll see. Just like we'll see if this athlete will bring home any.